first question is just yeah. like, you know, give me a little summary of the course, if you will. And when, uh, when I got the letter to say I've got the grant, I was, I was really surprised and absolutely thrilled to bits. And to, uh, once I was on the plane, I suddenly thought, gosh, you know, I've been looking forward to it for so long. Will it come up to expectations? And it, it absolutely has. I mean, it's, it's, been, um, it's been such a good week. Um, Pepe's a, a brilliant teacher. They've been, all the, um, the other participants um, have uh, a lot of permaculture knowledge in their own fields. So there's, there's been so much um, information um, sort of spread around informally which has, has been really great and because one of the things that, that I was really keen on hearing was sort of more information about what was going on in Britain on the permaculture front um, to find out what's going going on in Norway and France because um, in, in Holland where I live um, it's still in early stages and so it's, it's just good to know what's, uh, what's going on in the rest of Europe. It's six days. What, yeah. what is the thing that you feel that you're going to definitely take home and, and, and sort of try to implement or, or implement? Yeah, um, I didn't know anything about wicking beds. And I think probably everyone else has said that because it's sort of been one of the, the, the features of the course. Um, but that, that's something that really... Uh, really interests me because I, I, I'm always interested in trying out sort of new innovative things so I'm definitely going to uh, try one of those and um, uh, Pepe was growing sweet potatoes and I, I, uh, I've just started a community project in, uh, in Rotterdam and a lot of the uh, women who are uh, doing, doing volunteer gardening in the, uh, in the garden are from uh, Morocco, Turkey, Iraq, those sort of countries, and, and I think they'd, they'd love to um, to have sweet potatoes. Um, so I'm going, to, I'm going to try doing those in a in a wicking bed in the greenhouse. Um, so that, that's I can't wait to get back <laughs> to get that set up.